I'm Lika Kusunoki, lead engineer working on link support devices. You're with blood, yeah? <laughs> You've been talking to Damien, huh? Don't worry, you'll get your device later. Promise. First off, we gotta go over a few things, okay? Thing number one. Prototype means still in development, you know? I can't promise how they'll function in battle. I can only conjecture. Thing number two. I'm gonna need your help with that. Testing stuff, securing materials, putting yourself in danger, etc., etc. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, let me give you the rundown. I need you to take this new link support device into the field and give it a whirl. The one you've got right now won't work right with your god arc. You'd have to choose combat or support. And choosing's no fun. But this little darling can work as a link support device without inhibiting your god arcing. Theoretically, it should be all kinds of freaking amazing. Well, that's all the important bits. So, no rush or anything. Just drop on by when you're ready. Cool? here hello hello all right looks like you're god arc free about now feeling good good enough i'm going to explain some more boring stuff so just bear with me okay your god arc is fitted with a cool prototype link support device designed by me so it's awesome super awesome it stirs up all the oracle cells inside you so that your attacks can get even stronger so sweet! Monitor readout says your link support device and God Arc are both synced up perfectly. I'll be here keeping an eye on your vitals. So, just keep on fighting. <laughs> this should be a hell of a show. Everyone's in position. Keep your eyes open and your guard up. This is it. Let's go! This mission will be easy. We could sneak through it and still win. The link support device is now spreading its effect through the combat zone. Typed damage is stronger now.
walk in the park. We are so cool. We've got some spare time. Maybe I'll let us marry to the Or just hang out. And now, we shall have a short break. I hope I helped out. Try doing this? You made it back! That's amazing! I never thought it would actually work! <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Sure wasn't working when anyone else tested it. But this is awesome! Man, I can't believe I'd almost written it off! It's totally weird, actually. When I got back, I started digging around into why it only worked when you used it. I, I think it's got something to do with your blood. You're the only one with a Vogue. My working theory is that it acted like a catalyst. So here's the plan. We need to further investigate why it only works for you and make improvements as we go along. For the moment, I'm gonna need all types of materials to get started. Can I count on your help? I can, right? <laughs> right? You know you want to. Nice! Hey, thanks. You've really given me some new hope. Awesome! Man, I'm on fire right now! I need a plan, yes! Plan. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Come back and see me later, okay? I've got science to do.
Well, well, well. If it isn't Gilbert McLean. Haru? I can't believe you didn't tell me you were coming out to the Far East. Well, to be honest, I didn't know you were stationed here. Yeah? I must have mentioned it. Well, I guess I have been hopping from branch to branch. We haven't seen each other since Glasgow. Feels like a lifetime, my friend. It does. It was. I'm glad you found your way home, Haru. Ah, Vice Captain. This is Haruomi Makabe. We were in the same unit at Glasgow Branch. Haru, this is the Vice Captain of Blood. The infamous Blood Unit. I've heard tons about you guys. Sounds like you're tearing up some origami. The name's Haruomi Makabe, Captain of the Far East Branch's fourth unit. We're actually pretty laid back here. We're nowhere near as crazy as you guys in blood. Captain Haru, I'll go on ahead and report to Director Sakaki, okay? Okay. That was the fourth unit's own Canon Daiba. She's got character, but not, uh... Well, she's not great. She may not be the best marksman, but it's tough to keep her out of my sights. You know what I'm saying. Haru... Don't get hauled before the Court of Inquiry again. <laughs> yeah, not making that mistake again. But hey, let me know if Gil here steps out of line. I've got plenty of experience reining him in. Come on, Haru. <laughs> We're just poking some fun, Gil. Anyway, I should get to that report. Let's grab a drink soon, yeah? See you around.
bracelets. Dick, that was awesome. Quick and easy. Nice work, team. I always crave sweets after a workout. I wonder why. That's all for today. Gills, call. Hold on, I'm here. But hey, there's nothing wrong with failure. It's what comes after. If you refuse to give up, eventually you will succeed. Everyone's there to support each other. And one way or another, we managed to get by. It's a pretty amazing thing. Don't you think, Gil? Gil, you... You know you have to finish it. Please, Gil. I'm, I'm begging you. Do it. G kill me. Kate. Operation commence. <laughs>
was not exactly in my job description. We've got some spare time. Maybe I'll run some errands when we get back. Don't worry, it's part of the job. <laughs> it's been ages since we had the time to grab a drink like this. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, far too long, Haru. So, what do you think of your new team? They're all right. I'm not so great at dealing with the kids, though. <laughs> Man, I never thought I'd hear that from you. Sounds like you're getting old, Gil. Uh, Haru... Uh... So, uh, how about your... vice-captain? Seems a pretty interesting god-eater. Or so I hear. Eh? Yeah, seems really kind, you know? Though definitely a bit strange. Somehow manages to always stay positive. <sighs> that sounds kind of like Kate. Everybody's best friend. Willing to take on any challenge. Yeah, that's true. I, uh... Well, one time I, I kind of lectured the kid a bit. Why'd you do that? You were always the same way with Kate. Didn't work then, either. Not that she'd ever listen to me. For all her bright smiles and positivity, she was definitely stubborn. I miss that about her. Everything will work out, Gil. Just keep looking forward. We've never had enough manpower here. That just means we all need to pitch in and do what we can. Gil, take a breath and really think about it. We're out there protecting people every day. <laughs> in a world like this, that means something. Kate, I won't just lay down and take this crap. The politicians give us nothing but excuses. We need God Eaters here in Glasgow just as much as the damn Far East. Hey, don't go bad-mouthing my home. <laughs> I wasn't. They need more arcs on the ground. Because of them, we can almost live our lives in peace. We're lucky. Maybe, but they're still wasting resources over there. What about the Aegis Project? It was a total disaster. That's true. It's too bad, really. It seemed like such a good plan... at the time. Those choices aren't meant for God-eaters, Gil. But hey, there's nothing wrong with failure. It's what comes after. If you refuse to give up, eventually you will succeed. We have a really good job. We're working hard to keep the innocents alive. And Fenrir's working hard to keep us alive. We should be proud. Everyone's there to support each other. And... One way or another, we managed to get by. It's a pretty amazing thing, don't you think, Gil? I... I'm just trying to look out for you. To protect you and Haru. And... Look... You're stubborn. Both of you are. If you refuse to retire and have a real life... At least I want you two to be happy together. sweet sometimes, you know that? <sighs> Fine. I will talk to the director for you and see if we can get some more people. But look, you have to promise me, you will stay out of it. <sighs> Fine. Fantastic! <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Gil. Hey, cheer up, all right? Let me see that beautiful smile. Dude, Gil, come on, bro. Don't be flirting with my lady. I'm laying right here. <laughs> Have some standards. Whoa, I'm not. Tell her, not me. I'm just... It really makes me wonder sometimes. Why the best of us have to fall so young? Oh, 
Haru. Back then, I... Uh-uh. No, no, stop right there. No more about the past. <laughs> you know what Kate would say. Keep looking forward. Isn't that right, Gil? Yeah. How you doing, Vice Captain? Mind if I take a seat? Relax, I'm not gonna hit on a guy. Most days. Gil told me what happened during the mission out in the wastes. About the red rain and you jumping into a beat up Godark soldier to go save your friend? It's crazy. <laughs> you take everything in stride. That's nice. Look, I... I came to talk about Gil. I'm betting he hasn't said much about himself, huh? Plus, I bet you're aching to know what happened back in Scotland. <laughs> Thought so. Now then, where to start? The Glasgow branch is small. I mean, like, tiny. There were only three God Eaters stationed there. Gil and I, of course. And the third was our team's captain. Her name was Kate. Kate Laurie. She, uh... She was my fiancée. There weren't a ton of origami attacks out there. So the three of us managed just fine most days. A routine mission came up on the board and... Well, it should have been routine. I'm gonna be straight with you. This is about to get kinda heavy. Do you want me to keep going? Okay, well... <sighs> During that operation, Gil was forced into a really bad position. He... He had to kill Kate. There was no other option. He was found not guilty at the tribunal, but... People still talk, you know? That's where he got his little nickname. Fragging Gil. Cowards. As if any of them had the right to call him that. As if they had the right to blame him. Anyways... Back to the story. We played the fight like normal. Kate and Gil paired up as the advance and I circled around the flank. That's... when it appeared. Can you hear me, Haru? Please, just hurry! 
coming! I hear you. I'm on my way now. Just, just hold on, all right? It's almost dust, Gil. The Aragami infection has already begun. I can feel it. Gil, you... you know you have to do it. I won't! We... we can still get back. I, I don't... I don't think so. Gil, I'm sorry. You have to tell him. Look... No. Don't make me. I'm sorry. I know I'm, I'm I'm just being selfish. I never meant to meant to leave you. You have to do this, Gil. I don't want to hurt you. I won't let myself hurt you. Please, Gil. I, I'm begging you. Do it. C kill me. Too late. Kate was already long gone. Blood stained the ground. The fabric of her clothes crushed deep into the dirt and the stone. 
Gil was clutching her armlet to his chest. He, he wouldn't look at me, and he, he was crying. Sorry to be so dark. That's enough for today, yeah? You're a good listener, you know? With such a serious look, it's easy to open up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Gil can see that honesty in your eyes. You know? Maybe. It even reminds him of Kate. Well, enough of that, right? Today was pretty good. Let's have another drink sometime. See ya.